Trinity Sport. So we are in week 15, I believe. Um, so you're well and truly into double digits now. Hopefully you've been keeping up to date with me each week and really pushing yourself through some tough workouts each and every Thursday. Um, so as usual, we're back with another one today. Um, so all the usual rules apply. If it's your first week, I'll just remind you, just make sure you have a mat and a little bit of space. You don't need too much any, of anything else. Um, just a little bit of space on the mat, that's it, okay? So we're gonna get going. I'll explain things as we're going, all right? So let's start with some jump jacks, just on the spot. Turn the arms up to about shoulder height and you're kind of bouncing on your toes, legs going out. We're just gonna do this for about 15 seconds, all right? All we're doing is warming up. So you choose the speed. We're gonna change to jogging on the spot. Three, two, and one. Just jogging. Don't worry about it being high knees or anything. Just lifting the legs up off the floor, bouncing on your toes. So we're gonna do four exercises, 15 seconds each. We're gonna repeat that three times. Are we ready to swap to heel flicks? Let's go, heels up behind. This is what you're doing. So I usually have my hands there, just to make sure my heels are going the same height each time. After this, we're gonna do half squats. All that means is don't go to your maximum depth. Three, two, and one, half squats. The reason we're not going to our maximum depth, this is just about Pump, okay, we're just trying to get the heart rate pumping, blood flowing. We're not really trying to improve range of movement in this class or in this exercise. This is all about heart rate, get the heart rate up. Three, two, one, open jacks, let's go. Just a slight change, hands going back, really opening up that chest while keeping the heart rate up. So this is your second round. So if you want, you can go a little bit faster. Three, two, one, jogging on the spot. Let's do it, folks. Knees up, bouncing on the toes. Doesn't have to be high knees, just get the knees a little bit up so you're not just doing a hot potato. Okay, swapping two heel flicks. That's these ones. Heels coming up behind. Nice work, try to stay with me. If you need a break, take one, but don't pause the video, okay? So just take your break and join back in when you're ready. And half squats, let's do it. So after this set of half squats, you'll have done two rounds. And we're just gonna do one more. So your entire warm up is three minutes long. Keep that going folks, sitting back onto the heels. Three, two, one, open jacks one last time. Doing great so far everybody. Bouncing on the toes, arms going back. Now if you wanna add in a bit of extra speed, again this is round three, now would be the time to do that. Three, two, one, jumping on the spot, let's go. Now I do want you to lift the knees a little bit higher. Let's try our best to get those knees up. Get the hands moving as well if it helps you kind of counterbalance. Three, two, one, heels, go, 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 go. Get those hamstrings nice and loose. Hopefully your heart rate's up, mine is. Five seconds, you're doing your half squats. Four, three, two, one, let's go, down. And up, keep the heels flat now. Really sitting back onto those heels. Down, and back up. Really good work, everyone. Four, three, two, and one. Relax, there is your warm up done, okay? So, most of you know the structure at this stage, but just in case anyone's brand new to it and they decided to join in in week 15, what we usually do is three minute warm up, quick break while I talk and you get yourself some downtime. Three minute tough blast, Bit of downtime, and then another three minute blast. So you're only doing about nine minutes of activity, with the first one being the warm up, the second two blocks being a little bit tougher. Anytime something gets too tough, just come back to dancing on the spot or a light jog. The best bet there is to try staying moving and join back in when you're ready. Try not to sit down or anything unless you really need to. Alrighty, so what are our first two exercises? First two exercises, first one is just two swaps and a squat, like so. So from the side, you're not doing a lunge or anything, just dancing, one, two, squat, one, two, squat. Okay, that's your first exercise. Second exercise, I want you to kind of sit, as if you're on a horse or on a, a tall stool, and you're punching out in front. Legs are kind of engaged, but they're not working super hard. And you're gonna swap all that effort to the upper body for really strong, fully extended punches out in front. Okay, your third exercise, quite a toughie, down onto the ground, you can be on your hands if you want. I'm going to be on my knuckles just because it's easier on my wrists. And you're jogging. Knees up to the chest. Okay, so you can walk, jog, or sprint that last one. Totally up to you. Okay. Three exercises. 20, 20, and 20. 
That'll be one minute, and you're gonna repeat it two more times. Be over in no time. Alrighty, so your first one is the two swaps on a squat. Three, two, one, let's go. Two swaps, drop down, two swaps, drop down. And again, if you wanna be cruel to yourself, that can be a deep squat, okay? But really, we're working the heart rate, okay? We're trying to get the heart rate elevated, trying to get you breathing more, trying to spike that metabolism. So it doesn't have to be a super deep squat. More about the speed. Three, two, one, plant those feet, punching out in front. Now, like I said, squeeze the fists, get those arms fully extended, like this, okay? So no short punches. Use that full tricep and that full chest. Three, two, on the ground, one, boom, down. Into your kind of plank position. We are doing mountain climbers. Abs are tight. Jog it if you want. You can walk it if you want like this, or you can sprint it if you've had loads of coffee. Keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, back up. One, that's one round done. We're flying through it, folks. Two swaps and a half squat, let's go. You got it, you got it. Now, whatever you wanna do with your hands, you do it, okay? Because this is about the lower half moving. So if you need to counterbalance by doing something like this, go ahead. Three, two, one, plant it, punches, let's go. Imagine something you really want to punch. Let's go, let's go. It can even be me if you want it to be. Get those arms right out, fists tight, glutes engaged to stop you doing loads of twisting. Go, 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 go. Five seconds, you're on that mat. Four, three, two, one. Join me down here, let's go. Knees, knees, knees. So get them as close to the elbows or the chest as you can. But if flexibility is an issue, or you just can't get the leg that high for any reason, do smaller ones like this. Okay, four, three, two, one, back up. On time, here we go, one minute left. Two swaps and a squat. Now look folks, I know it's tough, but try to stick with me. I'm in it with you. I'm putting in the work. Let's all do it together. Three, two, and one. Plant it, punches, go, go, go. Woo! Come on, the heart rate should be up. You might look like you're going slower, but inside you probably feel like you're going twice as fast. Woo. Come on, come on. Each round gets tougher and tougher. That's what I mean by that. Four, three, two, one. Down, this is your last 20. Go, go, go. Planted hands. Shoulders tight, abs tight, legs moving. Come on, come on. Now, if you have a sprint finish in you somewhere, I want to see it. You get a break after this one. Are we ready? Go, five, four, three, two. Woo! And one. Fantastic, well done. Stay down, catch your breath. Okay. And then join me up on your feet when you're ready, if and when you're ready, okay? Like I said, take some recovery when you get the options there, but try to stay moving, just kind of on your feet, deep breaths rather than being dead on the floor, all right? So while you're having your break, you have already done your warm-up block, you've done your um, first block of exercises as well, now we're on to our second block and our final block. So like I said, it's only three altogether. So here's your exercises. You're gonna do a reverse lunge. I'm just gonna show you from the side, that'd be a little bit easier to understand. So you step back, you drive the knee up, step back, drive the knee up. You stick with the same leg, we'll do 10 seconds, it'll be over in no time, we'll do the other leg for another 10 seconds. Okay, then we're on the ground, we're gonna do press-ups. Now I know you probably just died a little bit inside. These don't have to be full press-ups, they don't have to be the toughest press-up you can do. We're gonna do half press-ups if needs be, okay? So you could look like this, knees down, press-ups. Again, I'm doing them on my knuckles, but you do them whatever way you want. This is all about speed. So I don't want you to go into a full length press up if you can only do two really, really slow press ups. So focus on the speed, okay? Last exercise, you're gonna flip over right after your press ups and you're gonna do toe taps. So one leg comes up and you tap the toes or get as close as possible with the two hands, all right? Unless you're really, really strong and you can do that last exercise with a lot of speed, I want you to keep it single leg. Don't want you to do double leg and slow it right down. Like I said, think about the goal of this class it's heart rate, it's breathing more, it's burning fat. We're not trying to really focus on the strength of our abs. That's a different class altogether, okay? So, 
standing tall. I'm going to go lengthways, but you can stay facing the camera. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Step back, knee up. Step back, knee up. So you get this nice bend in your front leg, 90 degrees. Drive the back knee up. Swap it in three, two, one. Straight in, seamless transition. Step back, drive the knee up. Get that really nice bend in your front leg. After this, you're straight down on the mat for those press-ups. Three, two, one, down. Let's go. On your knees if you need to. But the goal here is speed. Or if nothing else, just keep moving for those 20 seconds. So I'd rather you do, like I said, on your knees and go for 20 seconds unbroken rather than going for a full press-up and having to take breaks. Three, two, one. Toe taps on your back. Take a second to get set up. Two hands up, deep breath, exhale, tap one foot, back down, tap the other. Then take this opportunity, if possible, to get your breathing under control. Exhale as you come up off the floor. Switching on those abs. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up, nice and lengthways along your mat. Take a step back, we're into round two. So you can probably realize these exercises aren't as jumpy, they're not as fast, but by keeping constant movement, swap legs. So by keeping constant movement, you're just not giving your heart rate a chance to catch up, or rather to, to calm down. Five, four, three, two, one. Press up, so whatever version you're doing, get going on them. Right down, nice bend in the elbow. Hell, even bring your knees closer if you need to, okay? Focus on the good technique. I want to see those elbows bending, abs engaged. Four, three, two, one. Toe taps. Just think you're nearly on that last round, everybody. This class has flown in. Try to keep moving. Just over a minute to go. What, 60 seconds? That's no time at all. Nearly there. Five, four, three, Two, one, last round. I'm gonna face this way for some variety. We're stepping back, knee up. Get that bend. Legs might be a bit shaky now, mine are. Three, two, one, swap legs, let's go. Inside your last minute, everybody. Try and work hard, right till the end. And we'll get stretching in no time. Three, two, one, on the ground. Press ups, are we ready? Into it, let's do it. Get that bend in the elbow. Lower yourself down, strong press back up using your triceps and your pecs. Bang them out. Last few reps, everybody. Four, three, two, one. Toe taps. Last exercise, go up. Get to that foot. Ideally, those shoulders are still coming off the floor, everybody. So the abs are, or sorry, the upper abs are definitely switching on. Nearly there, five, Four, three, two, one. Relax, well done. That was not easy. Stay down, stay on the mat. Unless you're hyped and you wanna go again. In which case, pause the video and go back to the start. But if you wanna relax like me, two knees up. Switch off, take a breather. And then slowly return back to your feet. Well done, that was not an easy workout, folks. Very tough, both from kind of a, a full body aspect. We hit like a lot of different muscle groups, but also from a speed and just an intensity point of view as well. Okay, so it would be impossible to get all those muscles stretched. Let's just do the main ones. We'll get our quads done because they were involved in a lot of those exercises. So two knees together, hand out, grab something if you need to. Get a really good stretch here into the thigh. Hold it once you have it. Try to stay nice and tall. If you lean forward, you're gonna take from the stretch. Shake it out, okay, opposite leg. Same, get your balance. Kind of have a soft bend in this other knee, the one that's down on the floor. Good job. And release. We've got a bit of chest and triceps in our press-ups and our mountain climbers. Let's get the two hands out behind like this. Nice and tall. Stretch out the chest, bit of the shoulder. Gently wiggle your neck in this position as well. Can feel really nice, but just be careful with it. Try not to overstretch. And then wrists, if you're on your wrists for the press-ups in the mountains, let's just wiggle them now. And then shake it all out. Alrighty, 
Fantastic workout, but that, like I keep saying, that was not an easy workout. I'm definitely feeling it. Hopefully you are too. And if you're not, go back to the start and do it again. All right. So I will see you next week for another hit workout. Um, give us a shout out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever you're doing to follow us. And uh, I'll see you again. Have a good week, everybody.